Hello guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. I've just finished doing two reviews. Um, both are individual reviews. One is Karl Lagerfeld and the other one is in AC Mia K perfume. Hopefully you would watch them and like them. This third episode, before the video starts, let me just uh, warn you, this is not about fragrances. This is about life. This is what I do sometimes, the life talk, something different from my channel uh, work. I usually talk about fragrances, then sometimes I talk about watches. Sometimes I talk about life or some of the other observations. So this is not about Fracom, but you know from my life okay so the topic mostly is gonna be how a lot of your friends you know so-called friends uh, they waste a lot of your time and they are not really well wishers and then very important i will talk about a concept called evil eye and i suffered this i did not understand this before i was a very um how to say like not nerdy but i was a guy sort of like uh, unaware of these things until someone told me okay and i realized one thing that people sometimes say things they don't mean Sometimes they look like well-wishers, but they are not. And sometimes they say nice things on your face, but say other stuff behind your back. So there are a lot of these people. So how does it affect our life, impact our life from different culture, different religious aspects? So it's not going to be a very deep conversation, but uh, see if you can relate. Okay, so yeah. So I'm wearing for this video, I'm wearing Scent of the Night, Aramis for him, uh, Tobacco Reserve, Reserve Tobacco, Tobacco Reserve, yeah, Tobacco Reserve. So this juice is super hard to find, very posh fragrance, one of the more complex, uh, like a uh, different take on tobacco. I have, don't have anything like this in my collection. Even some of the niche ones, they don't match the complexity of this. So closest thing maybe come to mind is Shergi, but Shergi is way sweeter. This is more complex. So this juice used to be dark green color. If you find this bottle, take it. Over the years, the juice color changed. And this is a vintage version, very hard to find now. So yeah, masculine, okay. So I was talking about let's hit somewhere. I don't want to make very long video, but sometimes they run long. So I've taken like, let me go a little bit slow. I don't want to rush this video and finish quickly uh, in a rush without, you know, mentioning the points. I have certain points. So I have been lately realizing that, you know, you have to work hard at the same time you have to work smart as well. And what I mean by that from the line that I work, you know, since I uh, do fragrance work and talk every day, I have to have certain discipline and I follow my priorities every day when I wake up. I have certain uh, discipline or routine that I follow. First thing I do is I drink water. Okay, not going to do everything, but scent of the morning I put. And if I didn't do any videos the earlier night, I try to do a couple of episodes because that goes to YouTube and the numbers sort of follow. Then I do see my messages. Like if I got any orders to dispatch the next day because I have a decan page, these are my priorities. So two things I do nowadays, most importantly, more than anything else, more than people, more than anything else, I try to sleep enough. I try to go eat good. And then I try to walk every day, exercise for one and a half hours and I try to stay better in health. You can see I'm not complaining much about my health anymore. And then, you know, more or less it's working out. But the last thing that I do is if I have any free time, you know, I try to socialize, try to answer people's questions. So I get a lot of bashing on my channel, like saying people say that I don't respond to your questions or uh, comments i try to do this from other account that i have the bangladeshi uh, bengali channel that i do sometimes i read comments and if the comments are i feel interesting i reply but that's not the topic so two days before this today i decided one thing that i was feeling a little bit tired you know and the tiredness was coming from i don't know where maybe uh, too much work and too much fatigue and maybe talking to too many people and then trying to manage but i was not getting enough sleep so my brain was so tired so I thought like, you know, I cannot do this because I am slowly killing myself every day and I'm just becoming more of a slave. Okay, these are real talk. And when you become slave of your work, it controls you. So I want to take a little bit of control back. So I took two days off. How did I take two days off? I was in the city, but I didn't want to work the whole day. I didn't want to talk to people, nobody. I didn't want to communicate with anybody. I wanted to clear my head. How? How do you do that? If it was a big country, if I could go somewhere, I used to love driving in Malaysia, man. Why I say it? Because it's a big country, less people. Our country is a small country with a lot of people. Nowhere, absolutely nowhere there is security. There's nowhere it's clean or there's not places to go. You have to really travel to another city or fly. It's expensive trips. And then, you know, I didn't want to do that. But I just went out, nice food, you know, drove around, bought some perfumes because there's a sale going on. I feel very happy when that happens. So I went, traveled to all the outlets of a particular shop called Sandara. And they have different fragrance in different shops and different deals in different shops. So I, I enjoy the challenge. You know, I don't want to buy everything like I'll go there and spend like $1,000. No, I went like four different shops 
and I found out some of my favorites. I got Nexus back up, and I got, I think, uh, some of the other Carl Lagerfeld, and I got uh, some designers, not many, but I was satisfied with the stuff that I got. And then I ate, I laid back, you know, I just, you know, just relaxed in nature. So what happened was I got a lot of time, a lot of people were messaging me. I was not replying to them, even my friends, whoever close to me. The reason being, I want to see, you know, when you spend time with yourself, what happens, you know, and you think of a lot of things. What am I doing wrong in business or life? Why, why this is not working? Why, how can I improve my, you know, numbers? These are things, life struggles, right? So since I received that, that gave me a lot of food for thought, right? Yeah, the silver play button is just a metal plate, but it means a lot to me. I had to work eight years to get that, okay? I did not get it easy. I did not ask people to subscribe to me. I did not say, uh, guys, I need to get these numbers. Uh, all my years, I could have got it much earlier. If I did Bengali reviews, if I did some stunts, I could have got it, giveaways. I didn't want to do this. So after doing a lot of work, God gives you whenever you deserve. That's what I believe. And I'm very happy about it. So what this means is a landmark, okay? Something to ponder upon. And I changed the photo on my channel with my silver play button and my book, which I got from my friend. And I bought this book basically. So uh, where it <clears throat> talks about fragrances, okay? So do I have the book here? Let me see. Yeah, this is done uh, by my friend, good friend Gabe, and this is called the Ghost Perfumer. Okay, he talked about creed, you know, secrets and all that. So there's a part where he mentioned me because he interviewed me, sort of like lucky for me because he's I consider him as a good friend. He's an actor. He's a very talented, very interesting, uh, intelligent human being. So we often talk about fragrances and also life talk, but it's an honor for me to be mentioned. Just you can read the book if you find. So I was thinking, man, what is my purpose? What am I doing? How should I change my work or how can I take it to the next level? Someone said, should you be doing your own perfume line? A lot of people pushing me, a lot of brands, not a lot of brands, a couple of brands approached me and some people here, businessmen, some pages, but I did not really feel the right time. One thing. Second thing is I want to do it with my control. Some YouTubers, they attach their name and they may get it done in UAE. And then, you know, uh, they absolutely is just clone of each other or something else. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. But for me, I want to do things a little bit different. Okay. I'm not Mark. If Mark releases a perfume, I would blind by that. Okay. But let's say Jeremy released a fragrance, which was the most hype beast. The office for men, date for men, these. And the stunts that he pulled, I am not that kind of person. You know, like it's not in me. I cannot do those crazy things that he does, crazy things, screaming, jumping, breaking stuff. These things are not my cup of tea. I'm old. So uh, good for me that I'm old. Okay. But even in my young young years, I was not this crazy. So what I want to do with my fragrance, I never really thought of making a perfume. But if I ever did, my dream was to make something that brings the essence of my homeland, you know, Bangladesh, my country. I was born in Russia. I was, uh, I grew up in Bangladesh, 17 years. Then uh, I went to Malaysia, a um, couple of decades. So I have a lot of smells, memories, like particular place, like Malaysia. When I think of it, what I think of is durian. And when I talk about Malaysia, I feel it is my second home because I grew up there. I know all the roads. I know it better than my country. I drove around everywhere, every city, Malacca, JB, Johor, Pahang, Penang, Cameron Highlands, Genting. You guys been to Malaysia, one of the most fantastic countries ever. But in Bangladesh, you know, when I grew up in the 80s and 90s, I have this particular memory, okay? Some authentic fruits nowadays fruits smell like nothing fruits are all chemicals okay there's nothing authentic about fruits it's hybrid huge size no taste no smell back in the days we bought mangoes if someone's cutting a mango in one of our apartments whole building would smell it because that's how good the fruits used to be with time people became corrupted okay and people became money oriented so whatever you're eating is all pure poison whatever you eat fast food normal food uh, whatever so i'm going away from the topic but my idea is from my childhood you know simple things we used to walk we didn't have mobile phones right okay i'm gonna talk a lot sorry <laughs> so we used to play football cricket badminton we used to enjoy winters he used to give us a lot of chills like we had nice fog so we used to do picnics you know so we used to climb the trees and get fruits and you know like guava or uh, blackberries you know not blackberries something like we call it jam okay so then you know we have a lot of memories like real growing up and sometimes to fall like get injured and stuff but we were built tough. So even in monsoon, you know, like rainy season, we used to play football in flooded <laughs> grounds. So yeah, that's how I grew up. We we had this nice childhood. I really miss it. So imagine sometimes you're passing by a lemon tree. Okay, just take a lemon leaf and just rub it in your hand and you smell it. It smells fantastic. It's the most beautiful, uh, refreshing smell ever. 
you know sometimes I, I used to smell these florals we call it hasnayan i don't know what it's called and we have also tuberose you know back in a time and those smell you know then we had this bombay uh, rose it used to look like hybrid pink red and yellow this big roses and it used to bloom somewhere in february okay and we used to go like 21st february is our mother uh, international mother mother language day so we used to go and give flowers to you know show respect uh, so i remember those smells those florals smell different the rain smell different the jackfruit smell different the mango smell different so i want to bring up this essence let's say something what it smells like on a full rainy day back in the days it's like dark skies whole days raining there's no mercy you know you would go out you need an umbrella everything is just wet so how does the smell of the wet road you know uh, feels to you what it does smell like when it has a thunderstorm you know so there are fragrances which has that but i want to get get those authentic like the tea that you drink you know like in a village like by the rail station if you've seen the movie dilse right so there's a part that shahrukh khan meets manisha on the train uh, like the train station if you see the movie please see the movie if you haven't dilse one of my most favorite films and there's beautiful music so that is one of the best work of shahrukh khan and nowadays what well, i don't follow him but whatever the drinking the tea and it's raining outside imagine if you can recreate it with certain notes that would be a fragrance i want to make okay i can give you some idea but that would take research there's going to be a whole process and i want to make something that i love not something generic and there's a wash clone okay or aventus clone so yeah that's in my mind so that's something i was thinking about another thing i thought about is that in these two days that uh, what's hurting me where am i going wrong and i realized one thing i waste a lot of time talking to people and sometimes you may say it's not a wastage you know like talking to people you learn a lot yeah but some people are lot always you know taking up a lot of your time and today <clears throat> someone commented that i used to have a lot of toxic friends i got rid of a lot of people used to waste my time and this brother who commented this he is very wise he learned a lot in life so what i really feel that's what happened to me as well i slowly moved away from people community uh, even though i'm a community person but i don't really like to interact sit there because i don't have that energy i rather work i rather sleep you know i feel i'm at mental peace when i don't interact with people but sadly when you interact with people what happens is they take out a lot of your energy and they don't mean it maybe they are just innocent they are like you know like not doing this on purpose but they don't realize it's draining a lot of energy then later you cannot do any work you cannot do other stuff you just feel tired but there are certain people i was talking about the evil eye let's talk about evil eye okay uh, then you will understand why i am saying this even in malaysia i had friends a lot of good friends i used to trust them man uh, i would go and call them like hey we have this party or we have this program would you like to come with me or this is a cricket game would you like to go part be part of the team and these very people not everybody maybe 3 4 out of 10 okay <clears throat> i didn't have any clue these people talk behind my back i did nothing wrong to them i loved them i arranged uh, like the go for going they could get food and money and then jer- jerseys and nice gifts and i used to go and do all this thing on my own they never did any work i did the work but i wanted to make the team happy right so i will always want to be a leader i used to play cricket and all that but i realized one thing when you become a leader you become the most lonely person on the planet and the people that you think you have around you they are only with you because of your uh, you are happening you are doing something for them they have something to achieve from you or they are supposed to enjoy the work like enjoy some occasion but they don't want to do any work there are a lot of people like that free riders okay we call them free riders and these very people go and talk to your friends they meet your friends and they ruin your relationship with the other friends and this is something i realized much later and the day i realized it those are some of my best friends and i got one guy okay doing this to me long time back and i lost almost faith in humanity this person i took him everywhere young boy you know he's one of my younger brothers and i had the car i used to love driving around so he was like my right hand okay anywhere i went to eat i would take him you know if i go to play a game i would take him in my car not in the bus and i would trust him with every single thing so we had enemies right but imagine someone is with you 24/7 almost and he leaks information from my personal life to some one people some group that don't like me and these are a lot of people there goes the guard okay that guy is really crazy i tell you so yeah so when i see this i'm pretty sure you face this in your life there are a lot of friends that you think you a friend your ex that you fell you know like she was the girl but she totally destroyed your life we had that right and once you like are damaged your innocence is gone or your trust is broken it's very difficult to rebuild it 
and i mean to say these things to you guys so you realize if you're young maybe my this video will help you be aware at least that you do not trust people blindly you can only trust yourself and god no one else and your parents okay no one else okay and if your wife and life partner is good yes her so not all families are also good but what i really found out that when people break your trust it's like mirror once they're broken you can fix it sort of with a tape and glue but it will never be restored to 100 percent. you always have doubts you always suspect when the people approach you new people approach you they want to be your friend you don't want to trust them so this thing i'll tell you one thing some of your friends are the worst enemies that you have okay and i'm not going to mention any specific names or something but in my life 43 years old i am right now i realize it's your best friends who stab you at the back because when you walk ahead you trust the people behind you you do not trust your enemies okay because they are hiding somewhere you know they're going to attack you and they are the ones they are going to harm you but you don't expect that from your friend big big wars you know like like battles you know in the past they were lost because of betrayal okay and betrayal comes from who your closest friend okay there was a line uh, i think it was maybe scarface not scarface sorry tony brasco perhaps it's i don't remember the movie but it's it was something like this that you know a lot of times you get hit by the closest friends and uh, they were your some of your best friends something like that al pacino says in a backdrop or something so it's always your best friends and so-called friends well-wishers who are envious of you who are the ones who can stand you okay mind you not everybody's like that a lot of good people out there who are your strength your core strength but they're the people who always say i'm with you brother they give you like you know like like hit you up they give you that like whole hype hey bro go ahead go go fight with that guy and go destroy him let's go let's go uh, ruin some places ruin some people's happiness and when that you know the poo poo hits the fan nobody's seen around you are the only one who suffers and you look back nobody's there to support you and they'll just give you hey bro i'm here but do you know like i might get into trouble and stuff these are the people you need to get rid of second i'll give you one more tip okay i'll finish in 20 minutes those people who always ask you about your secrets what do you do who are you dating how much do you earn okay and uh, what is your life this and where do you grow they take all sorts of information from you but when you think of it really you don't know anything about them be very careful from these people okay and this is what i learned from my work okay i'm as if you could see the scars that i have from betrayal uh, it would show very severe they were like burned there'll be burn marks there'll be stabbing like some wounds i never been stabbed but i'm telling you so these are the people be very careful because you do not know where the leak information i have found proof some of my closest people <clears throat> talk uh crap about me behind my back and uh, someone maybe just passed the information so i double verified it and i was very upset when i heard these things and i realized one thing never be nice to people never never trust them never trust them with your secrets keep your secrets with you do not be dying to tell people like hey you know what i did one time i did this with my you know family or i did this at my workplace and you tell the secret and later you know that you are in trouble no one else knew that information except that one friend of yours okay so even if you're lonely if you feel depressed okay do not trust people and do not be uh, blunt you know like bluntly i don't know what's the word like a uh, the, you know what i'm the word i'm trying to remember i can't just remember it because my english is not my first language but uh naive yeah english is my first language okay <laughs> just kidding so do not be naive do not trust people blindly like oh that person seems so nice and then when times become sour you will see these people are right joining your enemy group and they're in the front forefront a lot of kids i knew a lot of respect in my community hey bro big fan you know nice meeting you after they did some crap let's say something stupid and that you see something disrespectful always they poke you they make fun of you they mock you and that's not to say make joke they're doing it on purpose they want to insult you some of your best friends when they insult you trust me trust me it feels like so so bad you know i'm getting angry but when i see people try to become smart asses with me and they try to uh you know <laughs> like you know bully you and stuff i get them you know like for example someone saying like hey bro yeah yeah sure you know because of your tummy you know your someone said one time when you're bowling your tummy reaches the place before your body it means i'm fat yeah i was fat but that's not a nice gesture and and he keeps making these jokes and of course i'm fat i'm solid because i eat i'm diabetic but anyway one fine day he was uh, doing and i know that he this person talks last story before i finish this guy was uh, talking behind my back in my team cricket team he always said to my other players younger players who actually like me right going trying to say like 
you know this guy is always like uh, he is the one who's telling what to do and everything maybe you guys should raise this you know those back backstabbers he is one of those right so <sighs> I got to know about it and one fine day he was just like hey brother what's up you know yeah you played well the other day you know i wish that you lasted like a little bit more overs then you can you know win the game then i said i heard that you've been talking shit about me you know behind my back what's up with that i confronted him right in front of everybody and this guy was like his face he did not know that i knew all these things so do not trust people blindly watch them observe them when you say something say out there like a trap or sort of like a you know like an idea that you know say something that you just want to experiment see if this guy spreads it or not and see let's say you say i am so sad today i lost uh, my car had accident or i failed my exam secretly look at everybody's face okay i am saying all this thing it sounds like i'm a bad person but this is what life taught me i look at certain people faces like one day i had a program and my voice broke my singing was in jeopardy like cannot perform or something but then i said my voice broke and i was doing so well before this my practice was the best so i perfected it the song my music was good everything so there are two people in the group they don't like me and they pretend like hey joy bhai you know nice i said uh, hey uh, i think my voice broke i knew i was going to perform but i did say this i cannot perform i think my voice is gone and i saw their face with my side of eye and they were like they were so happy they were like telling each other like hey 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 and i looked at them right and then i knew who are my friends who are not so be very careful how you choose your friend do not let people waste your time do not let people know your secrets and i'm saying this to everybody i do not mean one or two persons in general if you're listening to this anywhere in the world choose your friends very carefully you cannot choose your enemies but you can choose your friends carefully if you don't have any friends it's fine okay it's fine you'll not be at peace when you know some people are hurting you behind your back okay so uh, take care of yourself make sure your self happiness if you're not going to be okay doesn't matter what you do for people they are going to leave you the day your you know services your free car rides your money your treats as the restaurant the end if let's say you're broke or sick they're not going to be around trust me take my word for it and learn to say no when people are too nice they suffer a lot if you're an introvert person like i'll tell you you have to stand up one day people will bully you all your life and they'll say hey Bro, let's go somewhere and then let's go out for a trip. Like we had pizza, eight guys, and they make you pay the bill every single time. Don't do that. Don't let people abuse you. You know these are people, cheap people, and you should tell them. You should be brave enough to hurt their feelings. Let them know what you're doing, guys, is not okay, right? So that's the video today. Hopefully, some of you will not hate me too much. But uh, I realized for two days, you know, my work, my life, my priorities. This is the most important thing. I don't want to talk to anybody. because i am in control of my life take the control i may sound like a alpha male or a psychopath but take control of your life make sure you're okay if you are busy making the whole world like pleased or happy and in the process everybody ignores you and you are the last guy people check on you are doing yourself no favor love yourself love yourself as god do some good things out there go out help helpless people poor people and they'll give you blessings you know these people have nothing to do with you and uh, sometimes you know you will find happiness have a nice day thanks for watching i'm sorry for making such a big video but i really want to take this out right so take care have a nice day see you bye bye